UEFA may pass. That message applies across Poland during the 2012 European Football Championship. Germany's eastern neighbour is in the throes of football fever, and the Germans are too. The team of coach Jogi Löw has settled down at its headquarters in Gdansk, and they're already training at the Lechia Stadium. The locals are happy to host them. Of course we're happy that the Germans are playing here, that they're training here and staying here. It's great. 11,000 soccer fans from Poland and Germany come to watch the German side's public training sessions. But it's not just the prospect of seeing Lukas Podolski or Mesut Özil that makes them happy. I think it's a major development opportunity for the whole country, for its stadiums, autobahns, the whole infrastructure. And it's also a chance to boost this country's image as a tourist destination. Euro 2012 co-host Ukraine is also hoping to get an image boost, but that's a problem for German sporting professionals and politicians. The trials of former Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko and her ministers have provoked heated debate about whether a boycott should be imposed. The German government's Commissioner for Human Rights, Marcus Lerning, says a boycott is not the solution because it would punish ordinary people most of all. A boycott would mean the president saying right off, look, they're all against us and we're the legitimate power here. And that would be the end of the debate. We need dialogue, we need to have an exchange. That's why I reject any talk of a boycott. All of Europe is looking to Euro 2012. It's not just about winning the cup, it's about how Europeans get on together. I have a German shirt on because I'm a fan of the German team.